Smart watches, a lot of people have them. I have one, not quite sure how to use it just yet, but I've been trying. But people have them for many reasons. You can track your steps, your sleeping habits. Some people can even tell when the environment around them is too loud. Turns out watches could also be instrumental in reducing the spread of respiratory illnesses. WRL health reporter Grace Haba tells us Duke is studying whether a watch can know if you're sick before you do. You wear them to the gym, to run errands, even to work. I'm talking about your smartwatch. And researchers at Duke University are hoping data regularly collected through these devices throughout your day could actually help you know if you're sick faster. Right now we're using um, commercial smartwatches. So that's something like a Fitbit, Apple Watch, Garmin Watch, Samsung Watch, you name it. Duke researchers have reached out to more than 350,000 Duke Health patients who were tested for either COVID, the flu, or RSV between 2018 and last year. Scientists are then analyzing the data the participants' smartwatches recorded during the time they were infected. The goal is to try to build um, a tool that can detect early signs of infection before a person might even have any symptoms of being sick. So the idea would be that you could prevent somebody from going out and spreading infection. The data of interest includes things like heart rate, movement, sleep, temperature, and oxygen levels. Jessalyn Dunn says she and others have been looking into this type of research for over five years and says after a global pandemic, now is the perfect time to gather data. It became obvious that the methods that we've been developing to detect infection from common consumer smartwatches would be very applicable for these respiratory infections that are spreading rapidly. Researchers say they think the study in total could take about two years to complete. Grace Haba, WRAL News. Wasn't that amazing? All that from a watch. Researchers say the clearest data they've received so far has come from people who wear their smartwatches to bed.